up everybody i am back today and i know you guys are wondering of my hunting gear and stuff this past year and how my season went today we're going to go over how it started to how it ended and i kind of switched out a few tools and sold some things so i don't have them with me to show you but i started with all the xop gear because it was really reasonably priced didn't break the bank and i wanted to try saddle hunting and i recording audio through here because we got a lot of wind a lot of airplanes flying over a lot of noise today so i apologize but we're going to start with the xop saddle so we just did a demo not too long ago for the southern public podcast guys but uh my xop saddle i did a lot of modifications i did not plan on tree stand hunting with this so i cut the tree stand tether off and uh, I cut the extra leg straps off and then I cut all the extra fabric on the leg straps off. So let's put this on and I'll show you guys. It's really easy to get on. Like you just step through my, uh, my homemade bridge that I made, which I've been through a few different, trying to find the right one that's more comfortable. But dude, it's like a blank slate, so it's pretty easy. I'll tilt you down so you can see what we're doing here. But this is the leg hook. It just goes right over to here. You tighten her down. And if you're modifying anything, you want to do it with all your thick clothes on so you don't make it uh, too tight with your thick clothes. Or make sure, make sure it fits with your thick clothes. But this is the saddle and it's good one thing i did like about this saddle is when you have your backpack on it doesn't push your saddle down because you have your your straps so you can go in just like this with all your gear and good to go now i'll get you further away so you can see the whole setup I did swap to the XOP backpack that held all my gear a little bit better. And, but I would I put these on and I grabbed this groove. And I'll pull them down. Got some airplanes going over, so I apologize. But pull it up like that so it doesn't touch. That helps too. But even if though it pushes it down. And I usually have my gear hoist in the middle of my back you'll see on my next saddle setup and I'll have my my uh, linesman here and then my tether or something will be on this side my gear my gear hanger will be on this side my tether and linesman will be over here so it's made it easy peasy and I did start with the the ultra series xop steps but I, and i added a, a extra step to it but they just didn't fit my lacrosse 1600 boots very well so i swapped to the hawk heliums for the suction cups and i did a rope mod to it but it was the best setup for me i think so you can go four sticks high that's plenty high that's like 20 feet you can get a little bit higher than 20 feet with four sticks and the saddle the platform but i thought that was perfect most of my hunting was three sticks or two sticks and thick stuff so i didn't really need four sticks but a couple of times but this is the perfect setup and i put this strap on here so you literally can throw it over your shoulder it's on your back and you carry your bow and you're ready to go if you're midday you can still shoot like this backpack this is like all my gear that i need right here no extra carrying so we're gonna get now we're gonna go to my other saddle and then we're gonna climb the tree a couple sticks and I'll show you how that looks and everything. I'll even hang my backpack up just so you guys can see how that all works out. But very the XOP is I think perfect for if you're looking in a trying out saddle line and get to it. It's a little harder to get it uh comfortable like the first weekend i had some issues but i worked that out and i got it to where i'm comfortable like every time so you just kind of got to get it fitted to your body 
but to me it's perfect i got the combo pack so it was inexpensive this with the platform was super inexpensive way to get into saddle hunting i like the platform so much that i haven't upgraded that at all it's like the perfect platform for me but we're good to go now on the facebook pages i went and found a good deal some guy was selling it because he didn't care for the saddle hunting so he sold his pretty cheap so i got this with the two pouches for like 200 bucks i mean you can find a good deal and the back strap with it but this is my gear i got like a big tethered pouch a bit because they're a little bit bigger than the latitudes that helps with the uh with my gear hanger because it's pretty bulky i don't have like the cyst hoist i like my gear hanger like it is and i'll tell you why but i had my linesman runs into this pouch and my tethers on this pouch and my gear hoist is here and this i love this is like the perfect thing i love it so much like this is my number one tool i recommend you can put it anywhere you it's comfortable but i recommend that over anything you do for tree stand hunting saddle hunting anything is this doyle this thing is like the best investment i made all year but i got the this is the latitude classic and it's got the rope belt which is my my number one thing i like about the setup but i am looking maybe to get in to see how a two-piece feels i tried it out in the demo like the buzzard roost one was pretty cool so i'll try them out in the demo but and it helps with like back issues i've seen i would set to 10 hours and you'd get a little bit of pinch after 10 hours on your hips and your lower back but but i think it was the bee's knees the two-piece you can move up latitude sells a two-piece um we didn't have one of those at the demo i tried the uh the buzzard roost and i really liked it so we'll see how this goes for next season you know i might still stick with this one um but we'll see what happens and then once i get everything tight leg straps on with these clips there's tons of latitude videos out there but the clips i love with the little it has a thing to block it so they can't fall out when you're walking sometimes they'll want to fall out but for the latitude they don't you got your bridge i tighten this all the way down walk into the woods like all the way i'll bunch this up you can get a, a hair tie bunch it up and tie it together here or with this tethered on this side you can scrunch it up and tuck it into the side pouch because they have that slinky to make it wide and tight and my backpack just like that and i'm good to go see that the backpack it'll push down on your stuff that's why i like the xop because this will try to pull your pants down but all you have to do to help navigate that is pull that backpack up tighten her up get her up away from there and you're good to go you just gotta remember to tighten and loosen make sure you loosen when you take off or it's a pain in the butt to get your backpack back on and then the sticks let's go to the tree and climb it and show you guys how i got up might be a little bit of a long video but hope you guys enjoy you situated here so you can see is this a good angle i think it is what i do when i first get to the tree is i take my backpack off and i have my platform in the back and you can see it's only got a clip here and a clip here and it comes right off easy peasy and then i tie this in a little knot so we don't have any uh dangling of scent and trail going through the wood so i'll tie her up nice and tight but when i get to the tree i'll get it loose get it ready i installed a little clip here if you guys can see that clip right here you can get these off xop website it's the best thing ever pops right in i folded this back because it seems to pinch sometimes so i don't use it as much if i want to go quietly i just kind of put my fingers there boom good to go it's just as quiet you don't really need this cover but that's that's the hip it's hanging like that just like that and then i get my sticks and i'll clip them on this side but i'll first i'll start with uh untying it i wrap the first one around all of them to keep them together just like this
and then I unravel it just like this at the base of the tree and it takes no time to get up with four sticks like I think about four or five minutes then you pop the first one off and I always use the one with the strap as the first one if I want to take away I'll take away at the truck and reset up for what I think but I'll put this you guys can see I'll put this right about GoPro height <laughs> and uh, I'll reach around I usually do it the other side some right handed reach around we go under back behind it and then you're going to cinch that up just like that and then i do this just this little knot half hitch whatever you want to call it and then i go like this and i push down let that anchor into these pines oaks you don't have to worry about it so much but it's at the height it's at the height where you got to do a pretty good step on the first one to get up. So when you want to do your linesman, okay, let's, we'll angle this up so uh, you guys can see me climb to the second one. But when I want to do my linesman, I leave it loose at the top. When you first start, I leave it loose. But my bottom one, I'll have this carabiner here and I'm just going to take, because I usually go three sticks high or two sticks high. Whatever I don't use, I'll take and I'll leave it right here at the base of the tree. I'll leave them suction cupped and I'll leave it close to the tree at the base as possible. Just so if the deer walk two yards from your tree, they're not stumbling over that stuff. I'll just clip it right there, right on my linesman loop. Throw this around. Clip it. Just clip it to the linesman. Leave it loose. And then we're going to step up like this and then go to the second step on these hawk heliums like just like that and then you're going to unbucking there's an airplane so i apologize on loop Same spot, GoPro height. Looping around on the three. And you're good to go. Then I'll, I'll pull here. Loosen that. Climb to the next sec section. Easy peasy. with my little rope model made. Then you clip it back on. You go down. And then when I'm on my bottom of my first step, I'll unhook my linesman. And I'll step down because that's a big step. You don't want to get hung up. And then I'll unclip all these, lay them on the ground, fold up my linesman just like so folder and you can wrap it around so it's a little easier like this and the folder in there easy peasy all right and then I'm going to show you how I set up my platform get this off the tree but when I'm Point you down to this camera so you can see when I'm done when I'm done with here all these will all be suction cupped as I go down I don't drop them to the ground they'll stick to themselves but when they hit limbs sometimes they'll come apart so that's the one fail of these suction cups but 
what I'll do is suck you a couple more together just like you would normally and then you're gonna go and wrap this thing just wrap it around while you're at the base of the tree just take your time you don't have to get in a hurry it doesn't take long at all and then you stretch it pop it around a little knot done good to go okay now i climb all that with uh with my backpack on but i hope this video is helpful because it's a little struggle without a cameraman doing it myself but here we guys go and then i'm going to get on the platform and show you what my setup is so when I'm on my top step, like I'll, I'll always go to the left over here for my platform. So we'll unhook it, unfold it, and then I'll reach around just like that. I usually don't pull it too this loose. I just, I don't know why I did it, but. But I go pretty high. I'll be on the, I'll be on my bottom. All right, so uh, my camera kind of messed up halfway through. I think it left off right when we we're putting the platform on the tree. So I'm gonna start from there, and then go from there with the setup. Now I usually put my steps. Um, I'm gonna have my platform to the left of my steps on the tree, to my left side is where I put my platform, and I step up on my left foot because I'm right-handed like to shoot my left way and I feel like with the steps on that side of the tree it's hidden for deer coming this way so they won't see your steps as easy but you'll you'll be hanging off your tree sideways so make sure you have cover and everything too when you're up in the tree but let's go get it set up from the platform <clears throat> and I'll show you switching to the GoPro how easy it is to take off my pack you just literally click this, click this, it comes right off. And then throw your backpack back on. <clears throat> then I usually have this locked in. Usually when I'm climbing, I'll have this locked in like this, right there, just that little clip. She's locked in, climbing with my steps. I get to the top, I'll be setting like this. I'll do it from this side of the tree. Put the saddle here, or the platform here, so we'll unclip it. I usually do it about, I'll be on the top, of the bottom of the top step, and uh, I'll set it up just about six to eight inches higher than the step. A lot of people do it evenly. I don't like that too much because it's hard with the straps and stuff. So we'll set it up. You're gonna fold, you tighten it, and you're gonna hit, use your boot when you're on the top of your top step. Push that down, lock that in, she's locked in. You have your linesman, you'd be around it already. You climb up, then you're gonna reach, you're gonna reach, get your tether out. <clears throat> and then that tether I put about, about mouth height. Just like this. And then this I'll pull loose from my lap. I'll pull it like this loose to about like heart height, GoPro height again. And then you can lean back and you're hanging, which I got something to rest against. But then you reach over to my right side, my other pouch. I'll pull out my gear hanger, which is the Whitetail Dreams gear hanger for the, the bow hanger. 
which I use this for a rifle too, and it works great. Unravel them. They usually do it a lot slower and quieter, so they got plenty of time in the tree. And then I'll just lean against the tree, put her up above your head. And tighten it down and now I'll take my backpack off hang it here just like that away from everything and then I got this little mount set up I did I could drill the hole this white tail dreams been in straight quarter 20 bolt and I can put my GoPro there so I can spin it get some good kill shots get me anything I do have a camera arm and everything I'll put I'm not gonna set that up today but I usually put it about right above knee height like right here I'll sit down when I do it so I know what, how high to do it because with the knee height the arm comes up to here and I can shoot around it and then uh, to get down is the complete opposite I take my quiver I'll put my arrow up take my quiver off once I have this attached then I'll lower her down then I'll grab my backpack throw it on then I take off the gear hanger usually I have my linesman when I'm doing this just because I'll take this off and my line, I can stay close to the tree. And then we fold her up. I'm sure this the cyst hauler is a little bit easier, but I like this because it keeps everything nice and stiff on the tree. Then with my linesman around, I'll detach this. I'll tighten her up because she'll get caught on the steps on the way down. I'll wind it up, put it in this little pouch. Then I'll do my, my tether. Just like that. Then I'll wrap it around, put it in here, and then start climbing to get to my bottom step, break it down but that's quick and easy gear setup. I used it for everything. You'll have some situations where it's hard to get it in there and you'll try to figure it out. I've had to have my backpack and stuff lower than my tether before, but you'll figure that out. But I did go into the eight millimeter rope because uh, I bought these Ropeman, the Ropeman ones I had when I got the eight millimeter rope, it would slip a little bit. So I got the Ropeman twos and I don't recommend this like just to help it from gripping and grabbing like it still grabs real good these top three rows right here i uh got a file and filed those top three down so when you pull it you have more it's easier and it helps a lot i don't recommend that just safety reasons but if you guys feel safe make sure you try it out first before you get in the tree then if you feel safe you know go ahead but that's one mod that i did I did mod my uh, XOP <laughs> saddle a lot and that's really and then I did the GoPro mod for the the big whitetail dreams hanger gear hanger which I really enjoy that for my GoPro because it gets the perfect angle I think of everything you need and then I'll put uh, I'll put my camera arm just above knee heights when you're setting down and I'll sit down when I attach everything so I know it's the right height because it steps up and when it steps up it'll get in the way of your bow so the lower you put it the better option it is to swing around and get everything but 
I hope that's helpful. It's not as good as the first take. I'm gonna add some GoPro clips in here from the first take because they were pretty good angles. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Well, I think my camera crapped out on me. <sighs> and it stopped recording. I'm gonna see what I got. I might have to come back out and redo this, but that is how I get up a tree. And I switched from, uh, I would I would say upgraded a little bit because this latitude is really comfortable. It was easier to get comfortable in it. So it was worth a little bit more money, but I switched to it literally the last couple weeks of hunting season and it did not take me that long to get comfortable at all. And I could set 10 hours straight like it's nothing. But fortunately, camera stopped recording on me. So hopefully we got that going and we'll see what we got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this was helpful.